still on justice for Mobad. Justice for Mobad. Well, you see, you it, wicked people, no matter how long or how far they think they can run, it takes one step, one step of truth to catch up and crush. Liars, wicked people, they will never go unpunished. They will never go unpunished. Justice for Mobad must prevail. You're about to hear some deep, deep, deep. When I say deep, yes, you're about to hear some very strange things. So, CCTV, CCTV, we knew that our CCTV will finish and crush her permanently. In fact, I'm glad that spending said some things that changed the narrative. Even though you wanted to kind of cover up, meander here and there. Do you know that Mobad did not enter into his house with his legs? Mobad did not walk into his house on that faithful night, that terrible, terrible night. Mobad did not walk inside of his house with his legs. If Umi had the opportunity to escape before now, she would have escaped. It's because those that uh, mentored her, they said, don't worry, is it not Nigeria? When you say Lagos, talk of people like us. We know the president. We know the governor. We know everything. And also, don't worry, police will finish everything up. But unfortunately for Wumi uh, and her family, mm, she did not. You know, she's just an ordinary, just inconsequential. That's what she is. But those that stood behind her telling her, don't worry, we will protect you. Because these people, they, they love to operate in wickedness. So when they see people manifesting wickedness, they feel good. They feel comfortable. They want to support. Whenever you are doing good, they are against you. But whenever you are wicked, you are bad like them. They will applaud you and they will encourage you and keep on pushing you until you fall into the ditch that you dug. This seems to be the story. In fact, not seen. This is the story of Omi. I want you to pay attention to this one from the beginning to the end. As we do it on this channel, on this platform, translation and analysis goes hand in hand. Let us listen and we will talk more. Before proceed, like and share, tap on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. To encourage this channel to do more, tap on the thanks button. It is an audacity for me, honestly, for her to have the 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 guts to call Baba Mubad to, to start cursing. Ever me be no way. She Baba Mubadi look pa Mubadi me. She Baba Mubad just because Baba Mubad is saying his truth. Just because Mubad's father is saying his truth. Just because. <laughs> just because. Allah won no mumi ati ya ni passion. Only call on Jehovah and call on she. Mumi, you know I'm always saying it. Until you say your truth. Your mind will not, your mind not go touch ground. Mumi, okwe on ibale. Bokwe, he tells okwe, eh, young widow, young widow, young widow, lo kwe babo kwe. Don't say kwe babo kwe, um, aku, show, oh, lo ripu kwe ni babo kwe, um, eh, le imagine kwe ti baba yi, so lati joy, ta so kwe baba yi, paro. Eh, le imagine kwe to ju baba yi, ati ya, mubadi, ati mubadi, yuri lo wamoy. This girl is so manipulative. 
O le mori gbogbo ilu ko tona upside down. E gba ton, e gba ton. Se gba e yo lori buru ko agbalagba yi. O n pe o so po ko e lo mu e to ku, sugbo n pe ba be ni olori buku. E ti mo pe mo yo ni nkan ko pelu mo badi. Se ko ti mo so yin. Mo bo, mo bo. O fe san yin won pon. Se ko ti mo so yin. E ti mo pe to ba pe lo to lo ni fe mo bad. If e to ba ni si mo bad, wa transfer sori ba be ni. Only if you love me, you will love my dog. Even to ba eti baba mo bad, just because you love that man. Just because you love your your late husband. You will put the love on the father. But reverse is the case. Apoko jaye black widow. Itori ife to ni o wa ni ta ife ife o le ife ka se ji gbogbo sori mo ti so fun e. Even ti lo ba favor e, ti Nigerians ba favor e, ti Nigeria ba favor e. Mo mi o ni gbe le aye na owo yen emi ti mo so be ni. Afi to ba lowo ninu ko mo bad. Mo tun so fun elekan ti mo mi. Wo mi dada o ba ti ma je kin support baba mo bad. Olorun. So e gbo ba won support a yen. Won grant ni. Ni kon lo gbe mi yewo. Ani yan ko bi ore mi se oni bu se bu kiti gba iye ni. Eye Jesu ni mo gba. Okunko ati mole won le duro po. Mu mi okuku ni wo imole le mi. Mo de se gbogbo nkan mi lori oto. Olorun to da mi to da ehun mi o ri pe lati jo ti mo ti bere ko si mi kan wa sori facebook wa ma rent mi gbowo social media emi to ni mo tun dowo si ko si just because a boy is involved it can be a girl tomorrow to ba je pe wun mi lo ku ni mo ba je won gbere lo ma fi si to ba pe wun mi lo ni gbogbo evidence ti mo ba di ni e gbogbo e te wo mi leni e ti ma so pe ka lokunrin o po ko jaye o po ayawo e am i communicating o fu omo ye ni fokan bale to fi ku o tu fun ni justice nigba to ku ini la ti wa ti ya e te ni baba yen lara te ni omo e lara te je ko wu lo fun e bi te je ko wu lo fun baba e to to dagba omo ye tu ku to wu mi You think you want to take that man's life the way you take my boss's life? Umi, wa koko mo emi mi lo. Ti o de ni possible fun. Umi? Ti Ti e fun ba je baba mo ba diju. Wa lo si. I swear with my life. I swear with my parents grave umi. Ti o jo ba pa baba mo ba diju umi. Wa lo si. Mo ti so fun e. Umi? For me, Dada, the battle line has just been drawn. You buy the cock on it, touch on it. Cop in it, touch on it. I went to my lumi nile jura wolo. Mumi? On it, see, we made the badger. He let the beluma suffer. Mumi? Bring it on. I'm telling you, me, come out and say your truth. Something is happening to you. You can't have a little fumu baba mubad lano. Mumi? Something is happening to you. Then what's suffering with me? To ba ni back in president. Ma suffering pe mo ni back in no long. Wumi? To ba ni back in president. To fi pa shiri e ma bo. Wumi? Fu ra re e lo ma fa wa re e shira e. Wa a bosi ta ka ni. Ko se to ba gba wa e suffering. I wo lo ma fe no e son koto she fumo ba. I swear with my parents grief. Mo bota la no mo so pe mo fe so ro. O me pe mo. O me pe mo ntwen e. E mi. In kati mo fi nyo gogo mo ba di somo. A jek po wanti sin. A ti ba justice. Mwami. In kati mo fi nyo gogo mo ba di somo. A jek po wanti mo ba da ti ba justice. Mwami. If anything. If anything should happen. To baba mo ba. Because you have said it now. Ipo ma kuni. So ya ene pa mo ba. 
Iwa ati ya ele pa mo bad. Shugbo fe jeki ya eku. This is a big evidence, please. Eba mi tag Nigerian police. If you think you can go for that man, if you think you can set that man up, she bobo yin wan ti kwe. She bobo yin wan ti kwe mo sofu yin kwe. Inu boss last week, ti baba yin wo. Eni yin kwa si be, oni to ba yin kwe baba yin be redi eni lo wo mini. Olo wo ba fo iti baba yin late yin. Abe yin wanti, wong be baba yin ton be kiri. Ito ki baba yin wo sutana, o wo boss. She she ni ke yon wo boss, ito yin misto kwe e jo. And so long, Babu Koko Bukunwa, Baba ain't need the motto. Baba ain't need the motto because it's not even safe. Even Golag Barolon, Tolong Bashe Yanwe, Baba will be moved out of that place. He will be moved out of that place. Because a lot is happening. I confirm who scapegoats me. I hope Umi is not trying to do something to Moba, to Liam, so that she can escape DNA. You can't talk about she yami, she bought money. Bought money. Oh my, I told my top people funny. Because they talk about more. You can't talk about she for money. Oh my, oh my. Because they go to buy anything for money. To buy escape DNA. Eh, oh, oh, lose it. Yeah. Abiko yeyi. You can't talk she insin. What you establish it? Oh my, you show me my body. Tell me that you suffer me, but tell me what's up. You better think about what you prove. I just go see me. I just can't play. Hello. Hello. Baba. Baba. Hello. Mumbo. Mumbo, do. Hello, sir. Si kuma paliya me ma chobi bulukuni. Si kuma ma pali baba. Si kuma paliya. See, go come back to the shell, yam. And you know, my cutel, you know me. You will look my cutel, you can see, Baba, because our Baba mo, who said you know, Baba, and so bad, Jack B. Lo my cook be, woman. You will look Jack B. Oh, that's it, Dodo. You will look my cook be. I smoking so far, that's joy, woman. Say your truth and let your truth set you free, woman. You are in a bondage. Ambition saw ye in cotton shape with Baba in here. In koto she kwe babay ni ye ton dewi bababay. Something is happening to her. Inon jo wo me labi a shoti o li sosita. Inon jo wo me labi a shoti o li sosita. She me kubo yi sola no. Moni, if we don't get justice, Moni, mo me we come out and confess. Ti wo me bade ti bota to confess in ko. Ki lo lo patu fe bo. Then we take it off from there. Just hang in there. We will get there. Ati Mumi. Ati Dawesha. Ati Dura. Ati Yamubad. In Koton Mo. And what's up? Everybody. Toma Kwaku Mubad. Somebody will confess. Keep it locked. They are confessing. Because Allah will tell you. Allah will tell I need that job. I that job. I that job. I need 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 that
Justice for Mobad. Justice for Mobad. Now, if you are to look at the time we started Justice for Mobad, till today, till today, there is no official autopsy or toxicology presented by the Lagos State Government. Now, prior to this, we've had one or two cases that people demanded to see the report. Um, at one time, they came up with the toxicology, the, the autopsy, sorry, they came up with the autopsy report, and I think toxicology too. They came up with the report, and uh, it was done in Lagos. That was before the center where the laboratory where this is done. That was before it was set ablaze. It was burnt down. It was done. But after the result, citizens were waiting. Family of the victim, I use the word carefully, victim, they were waiting to know, to see what the government was going to do. The government did not lift a finger. They didn't do nothing. Now, the question will be, are we going to incarcerate a 13 or 14 or 15-year-old child, son of a late politician? Are we going to incarcerate this and that? No. In fact, we heard that children of these people that were connected to the demise of this young boy were flown outside of Nigeria immediately. They were flown outside of Nigeria immediately, registered to a school there. Now, these kids, after a while, they end up becoming monsters. They come back. They want to be governors. That's why they're heartless. Apart from that, karma has a way of dealing with people. Now, Nigerians have seen all of this. That is why they said no. We will not be quiet. We will not be quiet. We will deal with this as it should be dealt with. We will not be quiet. We will deal with this as it should be dealt with. Anyway. Anyway. Um, about the CCTV. Immediately. Prime Boy spoke about CCTV. Wumi that 
was quiet. She got rattled up. She started going from one social media handle, started going from one platform to the other. You know, she has deserted um, the first blog that she ran to because uh, focus people lambasted the blog. I'm talking about Jis Lover and uh, connected it to Yabo Joe and Tonto DK. Well, she now has her own group of um, women that are scared of DNA. They are scared of DNA. She has those group of people. They are scared of DNA. Always scared of DNA. She has them. These women, they are potential husband, boyfriend, partner, buyers. They can rip you within seconds to cover up lies and secrets. What did Mobad request? What did Mobad ask? You know, at times we might think we are smart, but we are not smart enough. We might think we are smart, but we are not smart enough. When I look at the events, from what we have heard here, evidence that we've gotten here and there, I try to come up with a picture. I try to sort out the puzzle. One, let us start with what will prompt Mobad to refuse, including Wumi and that little boy, Liam, in his travel plan. Now, I want you guys to know that his friend, Bella Shmuda, visits Canada often. So, Bella Shmuda has created a kind of, a, you know, fan base over there. So, we can say Bella Shmuda has some sort of footing in Canada. Now, with the constant troubles that Mobile faced, and this problem, this trouble that he faced, started from his record label. That's where it started. No one was chasing Mobad. No one was chasing Mobad. Not until he said he was going to cut off from his record label. He had three months to feel, fulfill his contract with his record label. Some are advising them, finish it up, know that you have done your own part. Some said, no, cut off, they are ripping you. Record label said, no, you are the one ripping us. All right. In between all of this, questions have been asked. So, Wumi, we've seen countless pictures and videos of you, your mom, and Mobad. And it has been established that your mom has something to do with the Nigerian police force. How come your mom did not help Mobad? How come you did not cry? Because people have asked this several times. Like, we want to understand why your mom, a police officer, did not see the problems, the issue that Mobad was going through. Now, let us go back to the so-called uh, manager of Wumi, of, I'm um, sorry, Mobad, manager, manager of Mobad. According to the report, this manager of Mobad is connected to the Malians. Now, Mobad's mother confirmed this and said, I want my son. I said, if you claim, with all that you have told me, when I went to the Malian house, you told me, mom, don't eat, don't eat. They are going to put something in your food. Don't drink, don't drink. Don't drink anything. These people are dangerous. You created this image of the Malians, that is Daira Mali and his associate. You created that image of fear, of someone to be feared, someone that is 
dangerous. Someone that can do bad to me. Like, what will, what will make them do, do something evil to me? You, you, you made it look like these people are so wicked. Then, if these people are so wicked, how then, how then are you still... Uh, uh, why, why did you look at uh, the industry? You looked at every available resources that can help you progress your craft, your music and all of that. And the only person you decided to bring in is no other than someone connected to the Malian record. Don't you know that that person will constantly revert back Yes, give information of all your movements, activity, and everything. Don't you know that such an individual will constantly... And moreover, I don't even like the proximity of this dude with you. Like when I come to your house, this guy is in your bedroom, sleeping, laying down on... In court now. In court. In court. I'm just repeating what... Moba's mom said, on your matrimonial bed, meaning the bed that Wumi and Moba sleep on, at times, Wumi will be on it. This guy is sleeping. Can you guys imagine? Like, what kind of rubbish is this? Why are you acting this way? Moba refused to listen to the advice of his mom. Why am I emphasizing on this? I'll give you one more. So that... You understand why this thing hit more bad, this hard. You will get to understand why this affected more bad, this hard. You will understand why. Nobody listen to his mom. Okay. There are times that Mobad's father will also give him some suggestion and advice. Mobad will not listen to them. He does what he wants to do. Is respectful, but does what he wants to do, how he wants it. He's telling them this, they are seeing this action, and they are telling him, look, man, your action does not cor correlate, does not match what you are telling us. What is really wrong with you, man? But now, you know, you have to be careful. They have to be careful with how, 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 you know, how much... They continue to tell him things because he will start cutting away from you. He will start giving you distance. So, Mobad's mom didn't say much anymore. Already, Mobad's father and Mobad already had that, you know, distance, sort of. It's not as if they don't come around. They come around each other, but Mobad wasn't comfortable with his father anymore. He doesn't want his father to dwell on certain issues anymore he doesn't want his father to pinpoint some he doesn't want his father to give him any update or suggestion on anything mobad kept on with his life now that this already is in place i mean we knew that this family is as broken as mine they, they, are, they are just here and there. They are here and there. So, when Mobad finally cried, it was easy. Even though she and her own family too, they are not like a united front in all things, like in positive things. The only time you will find them united is when they need to do wicked things, like support each other in evil. Karimo, the other sister of Wumi corroborated this one. She said, my mom, the only time she wanted to, and the only time she felt like, the only time she felt like a mother, like she acted like a mother, let me use it that way, is when she instructed me, encouraged me to cut off from my husband. You, you understand the kind of woman she is, like cut off from her, cut off from him. Once you cut off from your husband, you know why? She wants to benefit 
from my daughter 100% like now I will be your beginning and your end. Then I will redirect and we will both be together. After all, you have children. What else are you looking for? Be like Transformer all over the street of, of the United States. Anywhere you can go to whatever state. Now, since she's not listening to her mom, she became so, sort of an of enemy. You know, they became enemies, sort of. But with me, she listens to her mom. If her mom says, do it like this, she will do like that, do it, break it like this, she will break. And she has been doing this for so long. So here we are today. The question is, how come Moba didn't listen to his own dad or even listen to some few Words of advice from his mom. Now, Sam Larry, of course, we've seen videos of all that happened. You know, we've seen few, few videos here and there. Even though some of those videos were edited for a reason. Um, now, Spending said, on our way back from the show, after Prime Boy had been ordered to step out, in between, some terrible things happened. Wumi and Mobad had serious fight. They had issues. Was Mobad afraid for his life? Was Mobad trying to break the window to get out? What exactly is this thing? Now, let's pause. Wumi wanted to get down from the car. She wanted to leave like she often does whenever she has problems with Mobad. How I wish... How I wish she left. Maybe Mobad would have thought of going back to his father and then say, Dad, help me, help me. This is what happened. Or did Wumi call some people that attacked Mobad? What happened to Mobad? Unfortunately, Mobad could not record. Do you know that Mobad did not have access to his mobile phone from that show till the end of his life? He never had access to his mobile phone. Something happened. And like I told you, from the update that we are getting, Mobad was incapacitated. He, was, he, he didn't walk into his house with his leg. They carried him in. <laughs> they carried him in. They, they, they took him in. They carried him in. They carried him in. Now, for me to now tell us about uh, this and that, she refused. So, what her mom told her, and of course, that, uh, you know, Mubat's father said, I saw two people there. I saw lawyer. I saw Islamic cleric. The man dressed like Islamic cleric actually came to help Wumi take care of of the CCTV. Take care of the CCTV. So whilst they were rushing here and there, jumping like headless chicken and all of that, that dude was busy taking care. Taking care of CCTV. But how long with the wicked how long will they continue? How long will they continue? You see, the reason why this has become this messy is because the government has refused to do the right thing. The government has refused to do the right thing. The government has refused to do the right thing. Intentionally, not wanting to offend, not wanting to be the one to nail, to imprison, to indict, their own friends, they have decided to keep mute. And also, the underground job of Wumi's mother, immediately this thing happened. Immediately. It is so devastating. So bad. Hmm. So bad. So bad. I don't know what you guys think of this because uh, this justice for Mobad, I, I mean, they might think that 
they they will shut it down no that is what they think that don't worry let them continue talking um after a while we, we will crush that push the energy that they have put into it don't worry we'll crush it down they will they will they will soon forget about it um if autopsy and toxicology um report is not um given uh, what would they do justice lies in our hands that's why i like what our guest said that at the end of the day if we do not get that's to let you see how how people how people have lost hope in them they said if we don't get it physically we'll get it spiritually and what does that imply that god in his infinite mercy in his infinite mercy will grant Bubba's father that comfort but will me and whoever anyone they will be judged the law of nature karma will take place it will deal with who needs to be dealt with justice for mobad cannot be stopped